Obviously, Supreme released news um, of a new North Face collaboration that they're popping out. And as per usual with Supreme, just when you think their North Face collaborations have just about run their course, they're getting a little bit tired, same old shit. They always slap you over the head and remind you, no, 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 no. We're the GOATs for a reason. We're the top boys. We're the number one. Do you know what I mean? We are numero uno. We are primo in this game because of our kind of, um, because our back catalog, because of our archive, because our years of consistently slapping around, slapping man around the head with sick drops after sick drops after sick drops and collaboration after collaboration. This is kind of none, no different really, you know? Yeah? So this is courtesy of Supreme. It's a Supreme North Face. So Supreme has worked with the North Face on a new collection of 421. The collection consists of a bleach denim print, Nupsy jacket, mountain jacket, fleece, uh, mountain pant, Nupsy trooper, six panel hat, 703 down scarf, Nope, we got to wait. Don't make me pause there. Uh, Puko, what do you to say that? Pocono backpack, Ruo 2 shoulder bag, and a sleeping bag, right? And it's done in this sort of like faux tie dye material, and it makes it look sick. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the of the super so let me exit this page and do it again it kind of reminds me a little bit of the noopsie that i have with the faith with the faux fur which i think is a slapper i still wear it from time to time here and there people kind of give me some looks about it but when it first came out a lot of people weren't really too keen on it i think that fur noopsie might have been the point where people started to kind of get off the try to come off the kind of supreme North face collab issue and noopsie style so it's, it's, it's all a bit shitty now i think that's when it kind of marked the change but i always was a big fan of it i always thought it looked amazing i think the first time i actually saw it worn was maybe jason dill wearing it at one of the openings for one of the supreme stores and he had a couple badges on it he just made it look super swaggy and i was like you know what i like this noopsie and i kind of wore it for a time being and of course they did a really cool ed editorial on it too some other light-skinned kid wearing it it looked really good but i think this bleach denim sort of like look it looks probably maybe the best i've seen especially in the little fleece that they've got it looks so 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 good so you've got obviously you've got this kind of bleach denim print on the noopsy on the pants as well but it looks so nice man it's definitely going to be something i think it's going to sell really easily especially given the colors as well it's going to sell really 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 easily but i like the entire thing i think it looks so 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 banging and again as per usual the product shots that they do supreme in terms of editorials and styling and whatnot are always really well done you know you can't really go wrong you know everybody kind of looks fucking cool and the stuff the pictures come out great the black and blue are great i don't know what one i'll, I'll pick probably maybe black because again that's what i usually wear but there's no real favorite they all look fucking sick like don't 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 chat shit again noopsies usually i don't like wearing them with the hood up but sometimes depending on the design they look pretty decent with the hood especially given that they, they extended the tie they print over the hood too so it looks absolutely banging let's not deny let's not deny um denali let's not denali that's an old face um jacket isn't it? here it is yeah it is but yeah it looks really really well done maybe a good a good return to form actually considering some of the previous north faces that have come out that i've not really been too keen on to be honest but these look so great man you know you've got the little mountain jacket i think there's a mountain parker right um that's meant to be gore-tex lined if i'm not mistaken but again really well done the pants as well the pants i could probably do about you know there's something weird about wearing north face pants or like wearing north face shoes it's like you know just keep the jackets and the scarf and the hats but i'm not going to extend that down to the pants i'm not going to be north face to the head to the soles of my feet i think that's a bit gay but again maybe that's me but that fleece you can't go wrong if, if you're in this fleece gang thing because that's a big thing now nowadays with streetwear kids they love fleeces they love cardigans loafers and um sandals and what else signet rings and shit if you're in that kind of vibe this fleece you can't go wrong with that looks so so good it doesn't even look like tie-dye it just kind of looks like a really strange kind of pile fur sort of material the way it's kind of applied on there it doesn't even look like tie-dye that's why it looks even better it kind of reminds me of like something you would see a pam or an aries doing right it's kind of like a good crossover between those sort of kind of different sort of brands maybe that's why it kind of resonates with me in that regard in terms of stylistically but i love everything about it they got a great trooper jacket of course that looks great i'd wear that i'd wear the hell out of that you know definitely wear the hell out of that for sure if you, sure, if you can't get that the jacket maybe get a trooper you got the sleeping bag that looks amazing all really really well done man let's not deny it all looks incredible you got a, got, got a baseball cap here that looks good as well six panel hat sorry again the hats and the thing i'd wear but the pants and the shoes you can probably count me out but look how good that looks come on how good does that look the blue looks banging maybe the blue looks more interesting as a kind of palette choice and colors but i still like the black i probably wear the black head i probably wear the black every day if i had it to be honest i'm not going to lie the black looks so 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 good look at that Look how good that looks. 
banging man love everything about that black one but yeah this is definitely going to be an easy sell i wonder if the prints are different on each jacket or if it's going to be the same placement i'm assuming it's the same sort of placement in terms of how the kind of tie-dye is applied what do you think do you think they went through the effort of making yeah it's just a bit different isn't it it's a little bit different maybe is it a bit different i don't know if they switched it around but the plotches look a little bit different don't they um the little tie-dye plotches here and there so maybe they've kind of flipped them around i don't know if how they do it in terms of the patterns and how they put it on the jacket but I, I do like it i'm not going to lie it looks fucking sick man let's not let's not kid ourselves you got the you got the what you got what was it called um the mountain jacket which again i said uh is definitely Gore-Tex lined. It actually looks even more interesting in this version because of the material that they use on the mountain jacket. So this actually looks like denim from afar, right? But it's not. Um, that looks pretty impressive. So maybe if you want that real kind of, you know, throw you off sort of look, definitely check that out. It's interesting they don't have the Supreme Britain on the hood like they do on the Noopsie in it, but they've got it on this. So there's no Supreme Britain on the hood or the Noopsie on this mountain Parker, but it definitely got it on the, on the other one. But yeah, the denim effect does definitely does work better on the, on the sorry on the what you call it on the mountain park. It doesn't look snoopsy, but again, I'm not really the, the biggest fan of the denim park. I'd much prefer the kind of arteric sort of like jackets that they have. But again, another stand up piece. The fleece looks so so good. I'm surprised they didn't do a Denali in this sort of print, but maybe they just preferred the fleece because it's more of a liner than Delanis. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder why they didn't do that. Because they they they've done a few of those Denalis, isn't it? Maybe they've decided to switch up again. But this fleece looks so good. But maybe maybe again for considering the trends at the moment, considering everyone's wearing fleeces again, maybe that was a kind of easy decision to kind of jump on in it, maybe in that regard. But yeah, this looks so, so good. Um again the pants and stuff I'm not really too fond of. You can kind of miss me with all that to be honest when it comes to the pants. You know what I mean, wearing North Face pants is a little bit too extra. It's like kids that wear like Stone Island pants and shoes and shit. It's like, come on, man. Just wear the jackets, put on a hat, jumper and shit, some goggles. You know what I mean? But let's not start wearing st Stone Island jeans like with the label in the back pocket. That is some wild ad shit. In my opinion, again, wild ad maneuvers, in my opinion. But I think if you're those kind of guys that wears Palace and you wear flipping loafers with tracksuit bottoms, you probably like all that shit in it. But not for me bro i'm not trying to larp around like some working class guy either you're from the ends or you're not um this is a one i like too denim uh trooper hat again supreme always make good trooper hats or trapper hats have you gonna call them um the scarf of course is an easy easy rock easy buy sleeping bag of course easy easy buy and then you've got i think a couple of bags in it left right I think you got like a tote is that a tote bag or something or a backpack i forgot which one it was yeah you got a backpack of course which looks brilliant maybe even better than some of the other kind of inline ones that they've kind of made of recent years actually the, the recent backpacks i've seen in recent seasons have kind of gone back to the old days i'm not gonna lie but there was a point where the backpacks were kind of a bit crappy but they've improved over the recent years they're not going to lie got a nice little hip bag there um what is this a nice little shoulder bag looks like a little coin paste that you'd wear if you was a cell system in, in flipping selfridges but i like everything i like it all um when's it due to come out let's see if we can find out here without my computer breaking um, but, 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 but scroll down it's due to come out on the 16th so this week uh, obviously in all locations and then japan on the 18th so you know get your wallets ready and get your f5s and your computers ready different phones and stuff but for the most part what was it last time i saw when they dropped the box logo hoodie they did something where you have to kind of draw a circle some kid there was a video that went up i think on splay the um the team that kind of does this, this, the flipping the web design for Supreme and they showed us some kid on TikTok trying to get a box logo hoodie and you have to draw some circle thing on it which was great because it meant this kid's able to win or it's able to win I mean look how they made the fucking the fucking trained our brain they make you think winning is buying with your own money a flipping hoodie but anyway he got the chance to buy a hoodie without using a bot because they included this little other technique where you have to kind of draw a circle and do something which was quite sick to see to be honest so yeah big up them big up Supreme as per usual doing great things you can't can't deny them on that one but yeah 